So we are on the map world in a matchup played between the team. Uh, let's see who is this. Are the, this is the team Prodigy with the pink Gondor player Gavin with his teammate, the blue Rohan player Thorin. Thorin is playing on his main faction. He's an Eisen, he's a Rohan main. They are playing against the yellow Gondor player Necromancer with his teammate, the Cyan Greenish Gondor player Bivellini. This is the Nose Bean team. So we have a Gondor. Uh, Gondor Mordor against a Gondor Rohan, which is kind of interesting. Let's see how Gavin will do the stuff. I think both teams are good. There is a pink hit. I think Necromancer might want to try and creep that one. He's moving the. These are Thorin peasants. Pinions that they should move. The orcs reached the settlement before the Hobbit. Hobbit went first for the far one and then went for the close one. That kind of bought some time for the Mordor to push. Soldiers are being sent back to kill this. Meanwhile, some more soldiers are going to pressure the mill. Golem is also here to deal some more damage. Peasants are now running from the peasants. And Thorin is creeping the starting creep. While Gavin is defending. We have four farms inside Gavin's base. Which he started with two farms, went for the third. This is the fourth. He will lose this one. So he kind of needs to have four farms. Yes, this is a replay. This is a replay, guys. This is replay from the semi-finals between Gavin between Team Prodigy and No Spin. Hobbit pushing let's see also who is the host. The host in this game is Gavin, the pink corner player. We see a lot of peasants moving. Lucy also Thorin was able to capture this farm from the Gondor side. Gondor is going for a stable. He has two farms outside, two inside so this is okay. Stable coming up for Gavin also. He will send now the soldiers to rescue the Hobbit. Hobbit is still alive. He was able to kill a lot of orcs. Almost level 2. You know, they, were, they were able to take down the mill one time. And Mordor was able to revive it. And peasants will deal even more damage. Hobbit will the peasants will creep. And the second goblin layer. Now the peasants are level 3. And they are pushing. They will hit hard. But the knights will soon be on the field. Let's see also Hobbit level. Hobbit is level 2 only. Pippin level 2, but he was able to defend against this one. It's a pin here by Necromancer. Or the Hobbit. I mean, they might need some help to kill him. It might be hard because there's level 3 peasants. Soldiers are trying to defend, but it's just hard. Also, a Hobbit here. Dealing with the farm. But now, the end game is over. Sorry, the early game is over. And now, the mid game will start. And. We have Rohan dominating with level 3 peasants and everything. Stable already up and Rohirrims are already out. And soon the knights will join. Actually the knights from Gavin made it out earlier. You can see the base difference between the players and Gavin made some faster knights. They will go instantly to push. I mean the main thing that you need to do is to pressure Mordor's economy. I mean, Mordor has now full base. That's good. No towers here. He made 3 towers. The bottom no tower here and now the Rohirrims will go I mean there will be a lot of rushes I think the eye is moving from the mortal player on the knife so they can kill the level 3 hobbit look the damage from the hobbit actually it's not that great maybe it's not dealing that much damage to the uh, knights Pippin is dealing more I think okay another fight Rohirrim uh, knights need to run from the from Thorin's horses that he said to move in between so he can start to snipe them. There's a pink hit by Necromancer, he will be used. So they Thorin needs to disengage. He's still fighting. Ice gun. Now the knights are pressuring the mills. Also the soldiers on the bottom side. So Mordor is not that do not doing that good. Third case coming up, more towers being built. Horde still trying to pressure, but Gavin just has the better map control in this case. And better economy. Rohan is keeping uh, Gondor in the castle while Gond this Gondor player is just dominating everything. Is a creep going on on the bottom side from the, with the Hara teams or trying to to chase Hobbit and there are three knights. They have shields in their hands. I mean the upgrades will be a bit delayed because he made Blacksmith late. But now they are going in and will, will they go for the troll cage? They are going for the troll cage. Gond Mortal doesn't have money for it and are there any heals? Thorin doesn't have heal, guy doesn't have heal, but the troll cage will go down. That's a huge hit. 
from the right team from team prodigy was able to keep all the all the knights alive and was also able to take down the troll cage now a slaughterhouse is being made instead of that and uh, soldiers of runes will join the battle knights running around the map with shields i mean this gondor player i don't know what he's doing he's trying to pressure he's not putting any damage but look if we go on rohan look the map control look the vision that this guy has it says one two three four five six seven farms outside it's just demolishing a lumber mill is being made by mordor because he's pushing there is there are still creeps here here and here these ones might be taken down soon from mordor he needs power point check motor power points he has industry that's good eomer now from thorin and there is the first land of the of the game and that land is from necromancer this counter player right in front of his mill Eomer is level almost 3 and Theodin is level 1 and that's all more ore pushing on the bottom runes not ready in the formation and now troll cage will be made once again Healy archers coming from Thorin but there are knights to deal with that and that's good knights also creeping here these ones have upgrades this one only have shields let's see is he close for upgrades yes Gavin is very close for the upgrades He's now going also for Boromir to deal with the, so with the soldiers of Ruin. And maybe if the outpost will be secured by Mordor, he can take it down very easily with the help of Boromir. One power point more for Necromancer. Mordor is doing fine with Industry and one more power point. We have Thorin with Rohan that has healed draft and two power points and a half. Doing very good. He might even try to save for the elves and try to go for an elf rush on Mordor. And Gavin that has three points, so a rush can already be happening. But it seems like Gavin, now after he went for three horses, actually are they four horses? No, there are only three. He went for shields. That's why it's the level here. Three horses with shields. He will just hold for Gandalf. Actually, he went for the blades, so he will might buy blades on them. But Gandalf will be the way to go. It's kind of close, also elves. Could not be that bad. Bottom is also on the bottom level three and a half. Nice pressing from the top side. You can see only Gondor has a well inside the... Actually, no. My bad. I thought I was mad for a moment, but no. It's a big map. Usually, for example, if it be on Anorian, then... Um, oh, the troll might go down. Ice beams on the troll. Elven summon will be used. Rohirrim's almost dying. Now the troll is knocking down the runes. This is happening more the right team. Grey Company also was picked. So you have a super duper mega summon army that will unleash on the mordor space and that will happen there are only rohan units also maybe great company can be used from the bottom but i don't think you should just group them there is a pink here Tori wants to get it up great company is being used in here in the middle bottom here is fighting the knights and now the great company will combine with the elves and they are going to the base second troll we'll make it on the field now to the front trying to to move the Knights are kind of dying. I mean, these ones have a lot of leadership. They have Theodin leadership, and that's quite good. I don't know where Boromir is. Uh, I don't know where Boromir is here. He's also level 4. That means extra leadership. So these units are just melting any other any, any enemy. Knights are dying. More knights being sent to defend. But can you actually defend against this? I don't think so. The knights will move, be captured the outpost. Let's see, Gavin, is he going for uh, Gandalf? Yes, he's going for Gandalf already. And now that's just a matter of time. Nice trying to chase the Great Company, but they are with swords. That, that's why it's happening. I mean, what I wanted to say, usually when there is a smaller map, only Gondor is going for the well, and Rohan is not going. He will go for a farm or something like that. Because only seven settlements inside Rohan base, and here there are nine settlements. So I don't know what to say. Eomer dealing damage and now the Mordor base will go down. Oh the knights. So the runes, but I mean you can see a Thorin carry maybe also. I mean they played good, both of them played good. So that will be the game number one. We are on the map. Westful once again. We have the pink Gondor player Gavin with uh, his ally, the blue 
model player to win. I thought this was the same replay that before, that's why I double checked. This is the team Prodigy. They are playing against the team Nosebeam. That is with the greenish, Gondor, greenish color Gondor player Bivalini. Bival with his teammate, the yellow Eisengard player Necromancer of Gondor Mordor against Gondor Eisen. Let's see whose evil teammate will do better. So we have Gondor that is pushing the Gondor and Mordor probably will push the Aizen. That's kind of the things here. That's what is usually happening. There is a pink hit. Ice being used by Mordor to help his ally to take the farm down. So this Gondor player will not have that good of economy. Hobbit needs to run. Also the Hobbit here will follow the Golem to catch these soldiers here. So Bival kind of split his soldiers. One went here, one went here. You also need to keep in mind that Gavin gave a free Blumber meal to Thorin, which is really good. We don't see the same on the left on the left side. More towers are being made. I don't think the towers are really that necessarily in this situation. I mean all CS are strong, but there is no eye like any fan, so it can be good. It can be good. We have um, heal being used. Hobbit going to catch here. Hmm. So we have Jack again, the red team dominating. I don't know what to what to actually say about this right now. The mirror will be defended. Hobbit is dealing damage. Now the knife will be taken down from Gavin. But as you can see, he went for three farms inside the base. And he has two outside. I mean, he wants to have like far farms before going for some knights. And that's like four or five. That's the best number. But I think he went for also for three to just have like a replacement if a farm will die outside the castle. Meanwhile, Mordor just developing every everywhere. Workers with the Hobbit, with the Golem were able to kill the Uruks. That's not something you you see usually. I think is trying to move. He needs to make some more Uruks until it will reach level two to make Berserkers, so the life will be easier. But we already had the first knights going out from Bival. Second knight is in the making with only three farms outside. This one is still from Gavin. So actually, Gavin has six farms. So that's the best bonus that you can get. Actually, no, seven farms is the best bonus. Pretty good. The knights will go straight to the mill. There is a pink here by Gavin. He wants I. I will be used. So these knights will kill the works fast. Okay, you can see how fast they are killing. And also I is giving some experience leadership. 50% experience. Which is really good. I mean they will reach level 2 even without I. So what can I say? Another pink here. That there are two hobbies that are cloaked. This farm will was able to be saved. And because of the I. The knights are able to finish. Before the other ones are coming. They are level to have half both treasures. Now they will just start to chase. That's the following this one. Try to deal more damage. A golem died he here. Watch is being used. War champ from Dysinger play is being used. And the knights, the knights. Oh, that's gonna hurt if he's losing that. Oh, that's close. So close to lose them. So close. Last second move there. Who is the host? The host is again Gavin in this match. He's in this map. Hobbits fighting each other. Gavin is throwing rocks. At Bival host, a Bival a bit more blaze inside the base, but Gavin already has the full base. So Gavin is doing really good in the economy part. We might see a faster Gandalf than from this guy. Azengard now has a level 2 pit. He's starting to spam some berserkers to deal even more damage towards the mortar base. Hobbit is chasing Hobbit. Rohirrim is dealing damage. We have three knights again on the field from Gavin. He likes to have those three knights D damage 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 you see a ping here by gavin uh he wants to send a worker yeah that's the case a worker will be sent to capture a meal here there is a uruk i mean the knights will just kill the farm both the farms and motor will send something here you can see motor has zero map control let's check his money uh, Thorin has 5,000 resources. He doesn't have that many power points, but if he will, maybe he will lose more orcs. He will have more. I mean, now he will get some economy back from the la from the mills, 
and the industry will soon come oh three berserkers going inside to the tower tower will be taken down there's also berserker in behind industry will be picked by the model player in use on this other house now the knights needs to defend against this berserker watcher will be used but the knights are here just in time more towers are being made i mean against the the berserkers don't want to fight in melee but he's able to decide it zex went to chase an orc instead of going for the storehouse after the tower died oh and actually Thorin is going for the nazgul i mean what i saw like if you go to kill uh, a layer for example with hobbit if you place a hobbit right in front of the farm uh of the like the goblin he will kill the goblins and kill the lair but if the goblins are respawning then he will kill the goblins i think it's the same thing if you don't actually click on the building they can chase everything and ggs